Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I am well. How old are you? Good. How old are you? Um, I'm 23. All right. What do you got for me? Um, I'm just curious. I hear you saying high value man, high value woman. What is your, what do you consider that to be? Um, well, <laughs> it's a long definition, but in a nutshell, what do you consider a high, a high value man? Six points primarily. There's an income component, roughly $120,000 a year, $10,000 a month. In Dallas, Houston, Austin, Atlanta dollars. If you live in a different region, like LA or New York, you have to adjust it. You have to make that money for at least five years. Approaching three will do it. High value men is also uh, accepted by other high value men as being a part of their group, their society. They recognize it as already a part or has the potential. High value men has a network of high value men and others. High value man has his entire life is LinkedIn level. It has visibility. So he doesn't just go by the title of saying, I'm an entrepreneur. It means something like, I'm the head of cardiology at Hopkins. Something that people kind of know at a LinkedIn level. And lastly, this is no order of importance except for money. Money is the has to start there. If it doesn't exist, it can't be high value. Lastly, he's useful to others and the group. Now, this is by no means the only criteria, but it's the most universal. So you about, think huh? that having money is one of the number one factors to being a high value man. Well, you can't be high value and homeless. Well, I'm not saying homeless, but I mean, as a person that grew up with a father that is considered to be a high value man, that makes- You may make a lot of money, that doesn't make him high value. Exactly, I gave, but you're- I just gave you six criteria, mm -hmm. only one of which is money, and money has to be there. This is not negotiable but what if they have all of those factors but make seventy thousand annually why why is that really I, a, is that really a hill worth dying on i make mean your, oh, how about if, this? How if about i this? were to make how, how about this high value has to have a fit a dollar component and whether you value it or not this six-figure thing has been around since 1983 and it was given to us by women you're 23. Mm -hmm learn a little bit more before you try to come in with your opinions this has been around listen this has been around since 1983 no romance without finance you got to have a jlb if you want to be with me don't want no scrubs women have been saying they want it's the three sixes six feet six figures six pack for longer than you have been on the planet and that is listen Oh, oh, I am. That listening. is what women <laughs> decide that they value. That's what they seem they value in men. They value a man's resource and production. But there are also other things because you can have a lot of money and not be valuable. So to ask the question, well, what about seventy thousand dollars? It's a distinction without a difference. Um, I have this question also. Mm -hmm. Typically, I mean, that image of a high value man making six figures was created in a capitalistic society do you live in the west where do you live um i live in atlanta but i grew up on the west coast and well welcome to the capitalistic world we're in the capitalistic country do you personally think that that could change in the future not in your lifetime hmm. i mean okay well let me ask you ma'am um did you grow up middle class, upper middle class? What? Upper middle class. Would you like to be, would you like to have grown up in poverty? No, I don't think anybody. Well, well would you, would you rather switch it to go to live a life of a poor righteous teacher? Um, personally, yes. If I, okay, if, well, that's if, your I, option. See, that's the thing. That's what money affords you. You grew up upper middle class, so you can sit back and think about philosophy of this and that but when you're hungry and grew up in the projects like i did where mm -hmm. you didn't eat for days we didn't have first world problems like many people no, I understand. Like so understand something you have only known life through your father and your family's production you can choose to go out and live somewhere else but i'm gonna ask you a question what system of government is better than capitalism um well, what would you say about Sweden or Norway, countries that are more of a socialist country? 
the social uh, they're, they're socialists as far as their politics but they're capitalistic as far as their finance yes but their emphasis is not on it's rather on people rather than right and like and typically okay, in our what society I, when i say it works very well it works very well for small small extremely small places but show me where you have that with hundreds of millions of people yeah you are right no yeah makes sense so, so i mean i get that there's some people high value is something that i didn't just look at the united states i've said across any time any continent and i said where are the men who are ranked higher than other men what were synonymous and these things always came out because there's always going to be a ranking structure what is your definition of a high value woman then <laughs> uh she's attractive and appealing she has a comforting character she's discerning and disciplined liberating and loyal she's enthusiastic and exuberant so none of that has to do with how much she makes though because your money matters not to us Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, no, it doesn't. If, if so, if so, then you should be able to show me women who make a lot of money who are below average looking with uh, high value men. They're not. Women typically, a woman's currency is her beauty, her womb, her cooperative, her submission. A man is in his resources, his ability to compete and produce. Um, Michelle Obama, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. These are uh, all Michelle extremely... Michelle Obama did not marry a bum. She yes, married she a man. was in law school. I mean... But, but, okay, Michelle Obama did not marry a guy on the corner. Barack was in Columbia and Harvard, ma'am. I understand that. I'm not, I'm not saying, um, like, a bum, a homeless man. I'm saying someone that makes 31000 to 70000 a year. Do you know about Barack Obama and why Michelle... Yes, you... Yes, you know he was a law but, student. But you know, exactly. And he was the president of the Law Review, and he had political aspirations. That's why she got with him, because that was a political marriage. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, ma'am, sure. What is your, what is, uh, my question is this. You live in observable reality. It seems like you have an issue with money. Being because, I mean, personally, growing up with money, it can ruin people. Well, here's what can you can It can ruin a relationship. what you can choose to do. Here's what you can choose to do. You can choose to say, mom and dad, I don't want any inheritance, any insurance money. I want none of it. I'm going to give away all, did you go to college? Yes. Did they pay for it? No. Okay. You can choose to, Okay. You can choose to give back anything your parents have given you after 18 years old, and you can walk to earth like Kung Fu. You can go through life like Gandhi if you choose to, because you're an adult, you can make those choices. But here's one thing I will almost guarantee you, none of the people, very few of the people who grew up in your neighborhood will follow you. They like lights, hey, I agree with that. Heat and I air and whole foods. I just, the reason why I'm questioning this is because my, it's I a did first not, world problem, man. That's really what it is. No, it's, it's because, world problem. Yeah, yeah, it is. I grew up my family didn't grow up with money. As I grew up, that's when we got more money. Well, I mean, your we family, what do you mean your family didn't grow up with money? My dad, he made his own money from when, as soon as we were all born. Like he didn't have, he was, he didn't have anything basically. That's why I'm saying. And did he make, and yet he they, made, okay, so may I ask you, he made his money for his family because he didn't grow up with it. Yeah, he grew up with nothing. And then okay. my mom married well, my, him when he had nothing. But when he had nothing, he made it, then he had a family. Did he make you guys live like he lived prior to the money? No, because in exactly. this in this in this capitalist exactly. society. Why, but why didn't he do that? Because he's been inundated by the no, idea no, no, no. Listen, of listen capitalism. To what I'm, listen to what I'm asking. You said your, why your, did he yeah, do your that? Father grew up with nothing. Exactly. Your father grew up with nothing. Right? And then he married your, your mother and she married him when he had nothing. Mm -hmm. He made his money and provided for his family more than he had growing up. If nothing created your father, why didn't he give you and your siblings nothing to create somebody like him? 
Because he is a man that was inundated by a capitalistic society. Because he wanted you to have better than he did. Trust fund Becky. <laughs> that was funny. It's true. <laughs> yeah. You I admire your father like for who he is, but he said, you know what? I knew what it was like to not have to do this. And as a man, I don't want to do that to my child. So you can sit here and make first world arguments with seems like nice lighting. You don't seem like you've missed many meals. Congratulations. And you seem got all your teeth. Your hair is nice. You have you don't have to you have not missed any of this stuff. See, I think it's interesting that, you know, maybe it's a part of what we even consider white guilt. Enjoy your money. There are no, people who I, love I'm, it. I'm, or I'm get here. rid of I'm, it. Do which or do whatever. You're 23. Where do you live? Um in outside of Atlanta. Are you with mom and daddy or have your own place? Um, I'm with them because I have a broken foot. Well, I'm sorry I had a broken ankle. But after your foot's not broken, are you going to go to your own place? Yes, grad, grad, going to grad school. Who's paying for that? Myself. Good. See, and then from that point on, here's what you really have to do. If I, I say follow the money. After grad school and everything else, you get to decide to reject capitalism and live whatever way you want to. It's your choice, but you have that choice. There are people yeah, I'm very on the other side of Atlanta choice. who don't have that choice. Yeah, I'm, I'm very aware. There you go. My question, my other question uh, that okay, I have. We gotta wrap this up because I got more people to get to. Just what about these women that you're talking to where you're calling them fives and six? Like the last woman you were talking to is- Hold on, I'm calling them five, oh, excuse me. I'm calling them what they are. And often when I ask a woman to rank themselves, so don't say I call them, I ask them to rank themselves. Be accurate, young lady. Okay. What did I ask that last lady? No, 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 no. If you're gonna if you're gonna do you this. You asked year. if she was aggressive. No, no, no. I, no the, 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 the last one. Which the only one that got a ranking was the woman who was in Kansas. And I asked her to rank herself. Mm-hmm. And then I gave her a ranking. Do you not think that you have a ranking, young lady? I wouldn't rank. Why would someone rank themselves? Uh, I asked you, do you think you have one? A number? Yes. A high, yes. Yes. A scale of one to 10. You have one. Um, not personally, no. Well, I guarantee you this. You have one. Because that's how men are. We're visual. And I don't understand why you ladies think you can just remake men in your image. That's who we are. Men are visual. And women rank men based on productivity and resources. That mm. seems to work out well for you guys. If not, why don't, why don't we all go back to cave and be hunter gatherers? If all of this shit doesn't matter. It doesn't. Right. Then go wander the world like Kung Fu and put it into practice. But while you're sitting up with a broke foot in insurance, I think it's pretty rich with first world problems to say, oh, this doesn't matter when you have options and most people don't. I understand that. All right, have a good day. You too. I'm equal opportunity. What'd you think I was going to not tell her? You're, yeah, you're average too. See, five, women who are average tend to get upset with, <laughs> with rankings. Well, I'm more than that. Oh, well, who said you weren't? But as far as physicality, you're average. Karen and Darren are gonna come after me like a mother, right? Look, ladies, men rank. I guarantee you, if Brad, Lee, Ahmed, and Enrique, and Keith could come out and tell you the truth and not fear cancel culture or complaint culture, if they could come out and say the truth without fear of retribution for it, losing their jobs or being kicked off campuses, you would hear men speaking more truth. It's funny thing, I'll say this on the side. When I, when I lived in Oklahoma, the school I went to was an upper middle class school, but we lived on the east side, which was the lower income side. And I remember living in an upper middle class black neighborhood and an upper middle class white neighborhood. And I, and I would always be fascinated with the conversation that we have over here versus over there. These people are arguing of, what did you cook for dinner? Oh, I don't like that. Mom, take the crust off my toast. I'm like, wow. And then you go back over 
to the projects and people were eating cereal with water. People eating the syrup sandwich. Even even worse, they got real broke. They eat Cairo syrup sandwich, the white syrup. Then you go over to somebody else's house. I remember the first time you went over to somebody else's house and they had a refrigerator and they had a separate freezer and something called a pan tree. A pantry? What's a pantry? That's where we keep our dry goods. A pantry? You have a separate freezer? You have a crisper? <gasps> you have water that comes out of the refrigerator and ice? Oh my God, I've heard about you folks. You also have great Juice? What the fuck is juice? I want that drink, baby. Mm. It's purple. We've got apple juice. <laughs> what the fuck is juice? I want apple drink. It's green. I want all them vitamins and shit. But I'm telling you, hanging around white people, when I mean, they had pantries and crispers, it was like, wow. Kevin, would you like something to drink? Yes. Well, we have Coca-Cola, we have Pepsi, we have orange juice, we have Sunny D, we have water, we have Perrier. What's Perrier? It's sparkling water. Huh? Oh? Did you say sparkling water? I mean, sparkling water where I come from is you stick a straw in the in the in the cup and blow. <laughs> That's sparkling water where I come from. No, 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 it sparkles. We also have mineral spring water. What would you prefer? Well, I'll take the sparkling water. And it came not in a styrofoam cup, not in a plastic cup. It came in a glass. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. And it was delicious. It sparkled. And when I re realized that she served me sparkling water, and it wasn't glass, it was actually crystal. 